So we all have to pay to ride, but SEPTA says too many people are jumping the turnstiles and riding for free. So now they're considering these things, adding new barriers to make sure that everyone swipes before they ride. NBC 10's Miguel Martinez Valle. He is live in Central City with a closer look at what they're considering adding to these stations. Hey, Miguel. Hey, Lucy, yeah, and SEPTA officials actually tell me that the problem of people jumping the turnstiles, that's increased year over year. So today at 3 o'clock, the SEPTA board, they're going to meet to vote on whether or not to approve these new vertical uh, turnstiles. They're hoping that's going to mean make it harder for people to cheat the system, meaning more people are going to pay, so then they can invest that money into the day-to-day -day operations of SEPTA. All right, so take a look at these renderings. This is actually the mock-up of what the new full-length uh, fare gates would look like. This is a pilot program. So these would be installed at two stops along the Market Frankfurt line. SEPTA says that they've seen a rise in fare evasion with uh, 2,800 cases in 2022, up from around 1,900 the year before. Most people who evade, they end up jumping over the turnstiles and that would, uh, these new gates would make it impossible and there would be overhead sensors that would then alarm if uh, two people try to go through at once. SEPTA says the gates will be able to tell the difference between adults, children, and and objects. So this is a $924,000 contract for 22 of these new gates to be put in at 13th and at the 34th Street stations along Market Frankfurt. It's a hefty price, but some think that it would be worth it in the end. I'm not jumping over any turnstiles <laughs> myself. So, uh, yeah, I suppose if you're athletic, it would stop. I really wish I knew what the percentage was because it's a cost benefit thing. How much is it going to cost them to install them? Now, SEPTA officials say that it would be worth the price. Now, uh, if this is approved today by the board, this would take around eight months to install the pilot program. So they're expecting, uh, if it's approved, to have these in place uh, by the end of this year or early next year. I'll send it back to you. I'm Miguel Martinez-Valle, NBC 10 News. All right, Miguel, thanks for that.